and welcome to another episode of PC Kids Online. Today is week three of Played It, our amazing cooking series, and I am so excited. How are you feeling, Ryan? I am so happy yeah? to be here well, today. Why is that? I had a great weekend. I yeah. did lots of fun things. What did you do this weekend? Uh, you know, actually I went rock climbing. I went and fishing, um, and I caught lots okay. of fish. Have you ever been fishing? I have, yeah. I actually. I bet you're not very lot, good at fishing, though. But because um, it's I'm the best fisherman in the entire do you eat fish sticks? I, I don't like fish sticks actually I'm How could you not like fish sticks? Fish sticks are just chicken you sticks let me but finish my fish. sentences? I love them. Pastor Ryan What? You know like how conversations work, like you know, it's not like a one way thing. Like I feel like you're doing all the talking and you're not even listening to me. You're asking me questions and then you're just Fine, I won't say anything. I'll just sit here and go not no. I'm not gonna listen Pastor to Ryan. you. La 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 you're la being la ridiculous. La la not. Does this face look ridiculous? And relationships requires both people to talk and both people to listen. That's actually what we're learning about today. That last week we learned that we need to talk to God. Yeah. But this week we're learning that we actually need to listen to God. We oh. can't just do all the talking. Yeah, we have to listen. Yeah. Because then we miss out things. Exactly. Like I actually still don't know what you did. You said you went rock climbing with goldfish? No, that's I'm not at all what <laughs> I said. Goldfish don't even have hands. No, they oh, don't. Man. Well, listen, I think we should take a look at what Cooper's doing, find out how his cooking show is going, mm -hmm. and maybe he can help us understand a little bit more about what it means to listen to God. Let's take a look. Well, good news, folks. Um, over the past couple weeks, we now have over 2,000 subscribers on my new cooking channel. Isn't that exciting? So, in honor of this special occasion, I wanted to create a very special treat for you guys. Want to know what it is? Are you ready? <laughs> Drum roll. A rando sando, <laughs> AKA a random sandwich. Yes, the famous sandwich that is filled with random stuff. We will take a ton of ingredients that don't belong together, put them in one sandwich, and then we'll try it. I do have one twist though. All the ingredients will be coming from what you guys comment. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I'm not scared at all. <laughs> so go ahead, comment below what you think I should put in my sandwich. All right, go for it, guys. Whoa, bread. <laughs> oh, wow, that's, a, that's surprising. You put bread on a sandwich. Done, my dude. <laughs> Whoa, a snack cake. All right, I got one right here, so we're gonna put that right on there. Ketchup. All right, if you say so, I guess I have to listen to you. Oh man, that's gnarly. Sick. And the last ingredient, let's see what it is. A banana. Cool. There we are. Yay. All right, it serves up. Yum. So good, it's like, Wow, that is really good. Excuse me one second. <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> Kids, I'm not sure that was the best idea. Hey Cooper, what was the best idea? No, I said I wasn't sure if it was the best idea. I just ate the world's worst sandwich because they told me to. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh, that looks gross. Why did you listen to them if you knew it would make you sick? I have to listen. <laughs> Isn't that step number three in your super duper recipe book? <laughs> well, not entirely. Can you read it again? Fine, I'll read it again if it makes you feel better. <laughs> See, uh, let's hear step three. Here, listen. <laughs> listen to who? <sighs> Whoa, God? There it is. You see, when it comes to eating nasty foods, we don't always have to listen. But when God speaks, that's when we should stop and listen. Like Samuel. Hey, you read the story. Of course I did. Well, most of it, <laughs> some of it. Okay, fine, just the last verses. Oh, well, let's talk about the beginning then. You remember last week when Hannah prayed to God for a baby? Uh, yeah, who could forget? It was a wonderful story about how we need to talk to God. Right. Well, Hannah had her baby boy and she named him Samuel. Samuel grew up in the temple and was taught by Eli the priest. And one night Samuel woke up to his name being called. Oh, Samuel is in trouble, my dudes. Samuel ran into Eli's room and said, here I am, you called me. Eli was confused because he didn't call Samuel. Eli sent him back to bed, but this happened two more times. What in the world, who is calling Samuel? 
Well, that's what Eli and Samuel were both wondering. But then Eli realized what was going on. So Eli told Samuel to go back to bed and if he hears his name being called again, then he should say these words. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Wow, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. That's powerful, man. But what does that mean? Don't you see? Eli wasn't calling Samuel. No one was in the temple. So the only one who could be calling Samuel that moment had to be... God! God. <laughs> That's huge. Isn't it? From then on, Samuel listened to God and spread the message of God to everyone he knew. How cool is that? So God really does speak to us. Of course, we may not hear God's voice like you're hearing my voice right now, but God speaks through many ways. Really? Like what? Well, we can hear from God in a bunch of different ways. Let's say you're going for a walk. God can show you things just by looking around outside in nature. Or if you're reading the Bible, God can talk to you through those words. Sometimes having a conversation with somebody who loves God helps us hear from God too. The stories in the Old Testament talk about people hearing from God in dreams. And the stories in the New Testament talk about hearing from God through the Holy Spirit. Whether it's nature, other people, dreams, the Bible, God speaks to us all the time. I guess you're right. God speaks to us all the time. But... But what? But even though God speaks to us, that still leaves us with one job to do. What job is that? To listen. If we don't listen to what God is telling us, then we'll be missing out like on so much. Well, Cooper, you're absolutely right. Listening to God is one of the most important things we can do. Well, you heard it, kids. Our big idea is step three, listen to God. So on the count of three, let's say it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Step three, listen to God. Good job, everybody. Now next week, Cooper's gonna find out the last step in the super duper recipe book. So don't miss out, we'll see you then. Well that sandwich was absolutely uh, disgusting. I hope I never have to eat a sandwich like that because who, yeah. All those commenters were the worst. They were giving him such they terrible so ideas. Mean. Like I'm never gonna listen to commenters of like both my sandwich making abilities. No, not good sandwiches. advice. But we heard a really awesome story about this guy named Samuel, right? This was Hannah's son that we talked about last week. Yep. And, you know, he was sleeping one day and all of a sudden he heard this voice calling out to him. And he assumed that it was Eli, the other guy who was living in the temple as well. Obviously. But you know what? It wasn't. You know who it was? Uh, bacon monster. No. It was God. God oh, was sense. speaking to him. And you know what? In the same way, God actually wants to speak to us if we would just listen to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, you know what? Sometimes we can get so caught up in doing our own things and doing our own plans that we actually forget to, to stop for even a minute and just ask and listen to God and see what he wants us to do and see what he wants to say. Because God wants to speak to us. God wants to, you know, help us out and go with us. And so we need to actually take time to listen. If Samuel didn't listen and just casted it off that he was having a weird dream, he would have never heard what God wanted him to do. And he would have missed out on the amazing plans that God had for him. Exactly. And you know, sometimes it's hard to listen to God when there's a lot of other noise going on around mm -hmm. us, right? Other voices in our life that might be telling us to do other things. But if we just focus on God's voice, then he actually wants to speak to us. That's so awesome. I have an idea for a game. That oh kind of goes no, not another don't worry, terrible don't worry, Pastor don't worry, Maddie don't game. This is gonna be so much fun. It's called the Whisper Challenge. Have you ever heard of it? I'm not very good at whispering. I'm very loud. So what's gonna happen is one of us is gonna put on headphones and play some really, really loud music. And okay. then the other person is gonna have to say a phrase or a sentence, and we're gonna have to listen as hard as we can and see if we can figure out what it is that they're saying. All right, and what happens to the person who loses? Well, I was thinking that the loser would have to eat a random sandwich. A random sandwich? Ah, kind of no! Like Cooper made. Okay, I better win. I gotta win because I can't, I told you last week, I can't eat gross things. Right, well, we'll see how it goes. All right, let me get my headphones. Hey, you found my headphones. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> They're working. Okay, so I have my things I'm gonna say. She's gonna have to try and guess what it is. And kids are gonna be on the screen, so you're gonna know, and we're gonna see how far off she is. I don't know what he said, but I'm ready. Oh dear. Okay, ready? Here we go. No. 
Yeah. Sad cupcakes are muffins. Something are muffins. Sad cupcakes are muffins. Sad cupcakes are muffins. Yeah. What does that even mean? Ready for number two? Number two. Pickles are angry cucumbers. <laughs> Say that again. Pickles are angry cucumbers. Pickles are angry cucumbers. There's a theme here. Okay, number three. <laughs> number three. Mayonnaise is a sandwich toothpaste. Sandwich? Mayonnaise is a sandwich toothpaste. Mayonnaise is a sandwich toothpaste. A sandwich? Sorry, the song is changing. Don't talk. <laughs> Okay. Is the song on? Yeah. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Uh, okay. Mayonnaise is a sandwich is toothbrush. No. Alright, okay. take them off. I got three, all three? Two out Do of I three. Do I win? No. Oh. Take okay. them off. Oh my gosh. That was really stressful. You got two out of three. Two out of three, okay. All right. Was I yelling? It was mayonnaise is sandwich toothpaste. Toothpaste, yeah. Okay. All right, Here my turn. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it loud enough for you? Ryan, is it good? You can't hear me? You promise? Go. Okay, all right. Number one, I have I have a fear. A fear of pasta. Of pasta. Yes. How are you so good at this? Are you sure you can't hear me? I don't believe you. I don't believe that you can't hear me. I can't. Nice. <laughs> okay. Penguins. Penguins. Make great chefs. Good. Penguins. Penguins. Make great chefs. Make great chefs. Yes. Very good. All right. This is your last one, okay? Number three. Three. Chocolate. Chocolate. Covered. Covered. Strawberries. Strawberries. Are my favorite. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate strawberries. Strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries. Are my favorite. Are your favorite. Yes. Yeah. Very good. I'm so good at this game. Wow, I feel like. Yo, I this is a good song. Cheating. You were cheating. No, no way. No I'm just very good at this game. This song, but. All right, well, I, I guess the song. that be. means that. That you gotta eat a sandwich. Oh, we just, like, not skip me. That part. Not me. You've been you gotta eat a sandwich. It, it will be so yucky. It I think rhymes. we should just skip it. I, th I think we should just end it. Nope. 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 Yeah. nope. Let me go get a sandwich for you to eat. One sec. This is gonna be disgusting. All right, I got your sandwich. That's right. You put a whole banana in here? You didn't yeah. even bother to peel it? No, the skin is good, and it's healthy. Are they Sour Patch We have kids? some Sour Patch Kids. Okay. Oh, sour Patch Kids. And we got a whole banana, so you get all the vitamins. Mm -hmm. And we got some nice bread. And it's a and grape. grape it's a little it uh, little exante goo on the top. Exante goo. That's French for thing on sandwich. Okay, so here you go. You can have a bite of your sandwich now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, this is disgusting. Mm, nothing better it's than the skin just, of a banana. I feel like this bread is Don't stale. Don't lose your sour oh, keys. No, oh, you okay. can't lose those. Those okay. are the best All part. Mmm. Right. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. So good. Are you getting the hint of, of banana? It's a very uh, oaky taste. The banana and the... And still bread. Mmm. Mmm, sugar. Mm-hmm. Not good. Not good. <laughs> I was gonna tell you. Well, you gotta take one more bite. Two out of ten. It's for the viewers at home. A two out of ten. Hey, that's better than a one. I'll take it. I mean, I do like sour patch kids, but not on my sandwich. One more bite here. You gotta get the grape in there. There okay. you go. Oh, it's it's not gonna stay there. There we go. Let's go. There we go. It's an extremely old grape. 
many weeks old. <laughs> it's so mushy. Yep. There's oh no man. Well, guys, I've had an amazing week here. This has been fun. Can you finish your food? Are you okay? You can go throw up over there if you need to. Well, while Pastor Maddie's throwing up over there, guys, we just want to remind you, it is always so important to make sure you're taking your time to listen to what God has to say to you. So often we can get so busy getting caught up in all the craziness and busyness of life. We just want to listen to what our friends say, listen to what people say online, listen to what video games are saying. But it is so important that we take time to listen to the most important person. Mm -hmm. Like we've learned today and like uh, Cooper learned. Guys, you do not want to listen to anybody else. You need to listen to who knows best and we know that God truly yeah. knows best. And it doesn't matter how young or old you are, God mm -hmm. wants to speak to you. You're never too young to hear from God. Awesome. Well, guys, we hope you have had a great week with us, and we'll see you next week for our last week of Play It. See you later. Bye, guys.